Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play WozHack. For the time being, we're still exploring the beta version of the 1.2 update. Um, because there's something I want to do. A couple of people have suggested um, a tactic or an approach for the Bard and Bardess characters, which we've struggled with a little in the past, um, because they're frankly a little bizarre. Um, <laughs> I always attribute these sort of decisions to a couple of people unspecified couple of people. It's like that thing you get on the news. Sources close to the Prime Minister. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, but it, it's just that I tend to forget who suggested what and all of your names and things. I do apologise, but not really. Anyway, a couple of people have suggested this approach. So, we're going to try it out. And the approach, basically, is you use your musical ability to... Um, charm a few enemies at the beginning of the game, and then you just order those enemies out, or those those minions now, I suppose. You order them out to attack other enemies. Uh, so charm these couple of rats, hopefully. About one of them is still resolutely attacking me. Um, my point was, you then send them to attack other enemies. Now this seems like it might be a little clumsy, and hopefully you'll see why here. Because when I hit F, I get at this interact menu, where you can choose one of your minions to send into the attack, but you can't just select them all and have them all attack. So presumably you have to um, give them the commands one at a time, like that, which is pretty clunky if so. Uh, no, I don't want to deal with the chest at the moment. Let's send our mesmerised goblin over there to attack the kobold. See, so it's just the goblin attacking the kobold at the moment. So I really don't know um, how that's going to work. I mean, it is, it's definitely worth a try. Definitely. But I'm not convinced that it's going to be a very practical way to deal with our enemies. Might be worth taking the leather suit. Hmm. Um, I'm taking some weapons in this that I have no intention of using for the sole purpose of busting open chests. The problem, of course, piss off AVG. You probably saw that pop up just there in the corner um, because of the way I'm capturing the game. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, you've probably noticed that I usually kick open chests, but you can use a weapon to force them open. Um, the problem is that we have to identify them, or risk having them welded to our hand as a cursed piece of kit. Um, okay, let's try ordering something off to the attack again. Like that. Yeah, see, on only one of the rats is attacking, and it's attacking an enemy that was not of my choice. So this seems like um, a pretty unwieldy way to deal with um, foes sort of very clumsily sending your minions one at a time into battle against an enemy that you can't specify. It seems very, very awkward, but we'll see how it goes. Um, do I want to try forcing it with one of these? I don't know. I don't have a remove curse scroll, or at least I don't know whether I do or not. So um, I'm, at the moment, reluctant to try um, forcing chests. Because I don't want to find myself with a weapon glued to my hand and no way of um, picking up my harp again. But let's try out our spell books. Bronze one first. Might be too difficult. Uh, force Bolt. I don't think I've ever had Force Bolt before. So this has been a voyage of discovery if nothing else. Okay, that one was too difficult. But we can come back to that later, perhaps. Um, I don't know if the Bardess has literacy. I suspect not. But one of you mentioned that I should read the descriptions of the skills, even the old skills, because um, apparently some of them have changed. Um, and literacy, so I'm informed, is one of the ones that has changed. All right. Let's send a mesmerized kobold wielding a crude short sword to attack that kobold. Yeah, and the one kobold did... But then, then the enemy kobold got charmed anyway. This seems very, very clumsy. It seems almost as though 
Um, charmed enemies can themselves charm other enemies. I'm sure all of these enemies I'm charming weren't all within range. Seems very strange. Alright, um, mesmerized kobold, go on the attack. And mesmerized sewer rat, go on the attack. Do you see what I mean? Ordering them to attack one by one is a pretty damn clumsy way of doing it. Um, but so far, that seems like the only practical approach to it. Um, because as, as we've seen in previous episodes, just walking through all the enemies, charming them all on our way down to the bottom of the dungeon, eventually doesn't work. So, let's hope we can keep a few charmed here. I don't think we can charm a blob, but you never know. Legendary blob charmer that we are. Okay, so we've got a pearl ring. That could be worth IDing. So let's have a go. Yep, several IDs there. Cursed ring of teleport. Not what I'm after. Um, what else have we got? Studded leather suit. It's uncursed, so that's probably worth it. And let's use another identify to do some more... Um, let's identify the curved sword. Okay, was that cursed? I actually didn't look. It is cursed. That's the one I was considering using to bust open a chest. So it's a good thing that I was more careful. Your mesmerized kobold hits something. I'm not really bothered. I'm going to put on the studded leather. Yeah, it is better than our previous robe. And we look a bit like a sort of... Celtic druid slash bard here. Like someone from um, Stephen Lawhead's Arthurian reimaginings. What was it called? Pendragon Cycle, that one. Anyway, we don't have enough money for most of this stuff. We could buy a yellow potion. But I don't think it's really worth it. Pay me a hundred... Oh, freaking hell! It's that stupid charm curse again. I really need to avoid shopkeepers. It's just such a difficult habit to break, just walking up to them and doing business. I suppose I can probably unequip my harp. I mean, that's that's probably the way forward, thinking about it. I just have to make sure I pay attention and actually think to do that when we come across a shop. Because that has just cost us all of our gold. Not that we had much in the first place. Uh, gonna have to break through this web. I wonder if I can order my minions to attack the web. Let's try it. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm going to equip the dagger that we started out with, because the bardess starts with one. Oh, we didn't get caught in the web anyway. Um, that's why I took the bardess rather than the bard. Um, because she actually has a weapon. Let's grab that quickly. There we go. So we now have a firestone. Mysteriously, it's actually not identified in our inventory, which is an interesting choice. Does this work? Yes, it does work. Not having our harp out. Actually, uh, we don't have anywhere near enough gold to buy anything. Oh, okay, they've all turned on us because we put our harp away, so we'd better get it out again. And hopefully we're away from the baker, far enough away from the baker, that we won't charm her. Yeah, this, this whole... Charming thing, mesmerism, whatever you want to call it, with the instrument is very awkward. Um, I know that this is still a beta version of the update, and so the characters aren't necessarily in their final forms, but I would really like to see some more practical changes made to the Bard and Bardess um, before they get into the final version of the game. I mean, they're, they're really... At the moment, I feel like they're almost not playable because of the awkwardness of this whole mesmerism thing and commanding your charmed minions. So, uh, let's dodge over the trap. Okay, apparently we can't charm the snake, ironically enough. Let's send a kobold against the snake then. Oh, we've got a spider as well. Okay, um, someone defend me. Giant rat, defend me from the spider. Okay, we charmed the spider and the snake as well, so um, actually we didn't need to kill either of them. 
Okay, so we've got most of our health back, and we're getting hungry, so let's just scoff that cheese and move on. Um, might be worth trying out some of the potions and scrolls, because we haven't really done much of that at this point. So, uh, brown potion first. Yeah, don't know what that was, but it was brown. Uh, Alright, this clearly isn't working. Fancy taking on the mould, anyone? Go on, kobold, you do it. No? Don't, don't fancy it? See, there's... Oh, crap. See, there's more oddity to this. Um, you actually kind of can't get it to attack all enemies, because clearly... Um, clearly my minions didn't want to attack... Ooh, gained a level. Clearly my minions minions didn't want to attack that mold or whatever it was. Okay, so I just realised that we've actually never gained a level with either the bard or the bardess, so we didn't know what kind of talents they'd have. So we've got silence, we've got literacy, inspiration is a new one. Your pets and minions gain plus one to hit and to damage dealt, which would be better if we had any sort of control over them. Storytelling. You can tell a story, momentarily stopping all enemies from attacking anyone. Level 2, your stories are more interesting, and enemies will stop and think about them a little. Level 3, your stories are legendary, and enemies will stop and think about them for a while. So that's basically extended duration. This one, your pets and minions gain ever-increasing advantages. I'm not sure which is going to be the best one. I'm going to try Inspiration. Um... Just because I feel like having more powerful minions might be the best play. Not necessarily, though. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to try out Force Bolt, since um, we've never used it. Uh, it's basically the same effect as a Wand of Striking. So that's alright. Um, maybe I should have taken um, Storytelling, since that's actually an active ability rather than a passive. Um, but never mind, it's done. If we gain another level, then I will take storytelling and just see how it goes. Oh god, did something just turn on me? I think it did. The cheek. Alright, let's have a sleep. Oh yeah, yeah, that buffalo thing has turned on us. Okay, guys, um, I need you to mob that, please. Um, so, one at a time, order all of the guys to attack. Well, I'll, I'll leave it at four. Anyone? Want to want to help me out? Oh, it's, it's mesmerised again. Yeah. So if I were to choose one adjective to describe the way these musical classes work, it would be clumsy. Okay, we're actually overburdened, and we've lost our pet, which is kind of a concern. Um, I'm going to try this new spell book. Oh, crap on a stick. Will you guys get rid of these bastards, please? I'm trying to have a read. Um, read the magenta spell book, please. No? Ugh, there's more combat going on that's interrupting me. I'm trying to read here. I'll get rid of that bouncing skull in a second as well. Okay, so that one was too difficult. Um, we're going to have to drop some stuff. So, let's get rid of the robe. Let's get rid of most of our gems, but not the red ones, because we know that at least one of them is a firestone. Um, get rid of the cursed ring. And get rid of the two spell books that we can't read. And in fact, force bolt. I don't think we're going to need that. Get rid of the double-headed axe, and the bow, and the arrows. Actually, I probably should have kept the axe, because um, we know that the scimitar is cursed. We don't know whether the axe is or not. Can I find the axe anywhere? There we go. So let's take that, and let's drop the cursed scimitar. Okay. So we're now unburdened again. We'll have to eat a pear and some mushrooms. Okay. Hallucinogenic mushrooms. That's fine. Okay. Anyone want to do some attacking for me? Um, 
Apparently there are kobold innards, so I guess I'll pick those up. No, I didn't want to pick up a short sword. I'm trying to command my minions. Large kobold, attack please. I'm going to drop the short sword, because I didn't want it. And I'm going to eat the innards. Some Someone fancy putting down the water buffalo, or whatever the hell it is? Evidently no one fancies that particular game. Okay, let's identify that amulet that we just picked up. Cursed Amulet of Strangulation, my favourite. Let's cast it aside. Like so. And descend again. Ooh, zombies, they could be bad news. Okay, let's ask our Rothe to attack. And hopefully it'll take out the zombie. If it can get down the ladder. Well, apparently it's attacking a blob. Which I wanted my minions to do before, but they refused. And now it's unmesmerized again. Wow. What an interesting turn of events that was. So, um, I'm not sure we can really make a go of that approach either. These characters are really bizarre and really, really difficult to use. Very awkward. So that's it for Creed, or Cried, the Discordant. Um, I don't feel like we were carrying anything particular particularly earth-shattering. I mean, we could have tried that wand out, but of course it wouldn't have helped. Um, and frankly, I wasn't particularly having a lot of fun playing as that character. So I think we're going to avoid that um, from now on, at least until it's changed and or updated a bit. Let's be a thief. Okay. So, remind me what the thief starts with. All this black gear. Spellbook of Sleep, and a dagger. So, first things first, let's read the spell. Okay. Just about learn sleep in time. Um, but, let's put that guy to sleep. There we go. Um, but, as I was about to say, we have a very low casting chance. Well, not very low, but unacceptably low. So we're going to have to work on that. And no, before anyone suggests it, rereading the spellbook won't help. That's only in the mobile versions of Wazhack. So, um, leave that. We could go for dual wielding, so it's tempting to take another dagger, but I'm not convinced. And they're so crude, the crude daggers. I feel like we should hold out for something better. You know, a well-made dagger. Okay, let's kill that guy. What's this? Double-headed axe. Not really the weapon of a thief. Accidentally picked up a crude dagger there, but never mind. Let's carry it, since I was on the fence about that anyway. Okay. Fullness is always good. Blue mushrooms are often not, but if we get enough of them, then we can throw them on the floor and get an exciting effect. Wand and potion, always worth finding. Not necessarily useful, but... Um, always better than finding nothing at all. It gives you a chance. Skeleton key is okay. Well, it's actually pretty good. We don't come across that many locked things, but any we do come across, we should be able to open with the skeleton key. Almost missed that wand. Getting a bit framey for a second there. I think that's because this is running in a browser. Um, because, of course... Since this is unfinished, it's not available on Desura and so on yet. Let's try out some scrolls, see if we've got an identify. We have a teleport, which is not what I was looking for. We apparently can't cast our spell at the moment, so we may have to beat a tactical retreat here. Nah, eh, we pulled it off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I always forget to try out Larceny, so I'm going to take it and try to make a mental note to actually use it at some point. Um, is this an identify? It is not. At least it was only a rat. Could have been a lot worse. And of course, the lamp is worth taking. Could just be oily. Um, but let's try it, see if there's a genie inside. Nope, just oil. For a while, it seemed as though every single lamp I ever picked up had a genie in it. Um... And now it seems as though no lamp I pick up ever contains a genie. It's quite a while since we last had a genie-filled lamp. 
Okay. So, is this an identify? Might be. Yes. All right, then. So let's go with our jewellery here. Bronze ring first. See invisible. Isn't bad. Twisted rings. Minus one magic regeneration. So they're both balls. Um, I will hang on to them in case we get a chance to sell them. But it's certainly not worth using them. Oh, that, that one's minus one. The other one is a normal one. Ring of magic regeneration. So let's put both of these on. There we go. Not that we really need to regenerate our magic, but never mind. Uh, so, some of our stuff is cursed. Good to know. Including a lamp, apparently. This doesn't uncurse any of them, but um, at least it's told us what's cursed in our inventory. Didn't have enough money to buy any of his services, but never mind. We'll have to make do somehow. Um, okay, I'll just try out this scroll as well. Our monkey seems to have gone for a wander. That was, uh, I think, what was that cursed enchant armor, was it? It seemed to harm our armor, uh, which is irritating, but not much we can do about it. Let's put these buggers to sleep. We were lucky, actually, to cast that successfully on the first go. Not lucky to take so much damage from that asshat. Um, let's see if we've got a healing potion. We have. Failing to cast a spell. Come on, finish it off. God damn it. Um, I'm going to get through all my healing potions here. Wow. For a while I thought we weren't going to kill that thing. Okay. Um, must remember to try using larceny. In the meantime, though, let's go with silence. I really don't see the point in acrobatics. The ceilings are very seldom high enough for it to be worth having a jump ability. I was trying to jump there, but as usual, Spacebar is bringing up the map menu for no apparent reason. Goblins wielding a tin whistle. Well, that doesn't particularly trouble me. Um, I think larceny only works on enemies that are unaware of you. So, obviously, we're not going to have that chance here. But hopefully we will get the opportunity to sneak up on something like this. Can we use larceny here? Let's give it a try. Only 25% chance, which isn't brilliant. Uh, you steal from the giant ant. Okay. I don't know what we stole. I would assume it was an item, but I suppose it could be money. Giant ants traditionally not known for their deep pockets. Do we have any healing potions? We have one. Um, let's throw ruby potion at him. Potion of hallucination? Mm, doesn't help. Um, can we put him to sleep? We can. And we get an upgrade to our spell casting. Good. Okay. Now, let's throw more potions at him. Like this. Levitation isn't really what I was after, but I'll take it, I guess. Don't have much choice. And I'll throw these other hallucinations at him just for the damage. Uh, do we have a wand? Yeah, we do. We do. This will probably get us killed, though. Yeah. I got a bit sloppy there with not thinking to use wands earlier. But never mind. I, I really don't feel comfortable with these new classes, and I feel like I'm not playing at my best with them. So I think probably after Christmas, uh, when I get back from my family home and return to recording Wozhack, we'll probably go back to vanilla Wozhack. Um, or at least back to the original characters. See how they go. I feel like another wizard run is in order. Um, but that will do for today. So thanks for watching, as always. Rejoin me next time for some more Wozhacking. Until then, bye for now.